you ever seen a door? The red door. It's time to open it, Jack. Nothing is more elusive than a door. So this Jack character is Picard's son that he never knew he had. And he has these nightmarish visions of a red door. He also has special powers where he can enter into people and take over their bodies. Nothing is more elusive than a door the mind doesn't wish to open. I can feel your reluctance, your fear safe. Tell me about these vines. They're almost like neurons. I don't know what they are. Symbols have nothing but meaning. Symbols have nothing but meaning. Beneath the soil, the vines are connected. Do you find that comforting? This is like Avatar, right? Everything's connected. The evil network is connected underground. This is just satanic symbolism. Because when he sees this red door he also sees red vines growing all over the place so this lady is a counselor and she's trying to help him make a breakthrough and she wants him to open the door but he is reluctant and she thinks it's holding him back vines are connected do you find that comforting no comforting no right true Purposeful. Perfect. So the vines are connections. Your truth. It's behind that door. Fine. Will you let me open it for you? I promise. Fear nothing. Fear nothing. Fear nothing. Whatever we might find there, you will not be alone. You will not be alone. We will be together soon. We will be together soon. Yeah. Yes. So I want you to take a look at this hallway that they're in. That this red door is at the end of. Tell me what does it look like. This is the inside of a serpent. You can see the top is his spine. And you can see his ribs coming down on the side. And even the floor looks like a snake's belly. They are inside of Q. Inside the belly of the flying serpent. So she's going to open the door so he doesn't know what's in there so now you will see what is behind the red door inside of the serpent Q it's the Borg cube Metatron's cube so through Picard, the Antichrist, he passed on this dark spirit to his son through this Borg technology, this graphene, this medicine will be passed down to the children and along with it, spiritual possession. We are Borg, inside of his mind, calling him to the darkness, spiritually possessed, handed down from his father. Now that was the end of Star Trek, or Picard. After that was done, I was done with Star Trek, because as I said, I'm not a Star Trek fan. I wasn't really interested in the show. I was more interested in all the things they were hiding in there so that I could bring them to you because these are all the things that we just talked about. Then, of course, 
as happens with algorithms, the original Star Trek The Next Generation popped up on my screen. And I was not going to watch it because it's from the 80s and I'm definitely not into Star Trek. But then I saw this title card saying that the series started in 1988. And I said, well, this cannot be a coincidence. So I decided that I would give it a try. But the series actually started September 25th, 1987. As you can see here, the same site that said it was 1988, you can see that Season 1, Episode 1, is 1987. Well, September 25th just happens to be my birthday. And the length of the episode is an hour and 31 minutes. That's 3.11.33. 33. I did not learn that, however, until after I watched it, that that was the date it was released. I watched it because it said 1988. But then when I was done, when I backed out of the episode, it said 1987. So I thought to myself, wait a second. That said 1988. Well, that's exactly what it said that drew me in. And I'm glad it did, because this is the cherry on top, the whipped cream, whatever you want to call it. This is from 1988. This is episode one. Or, I'm sorry, 1987. This is episode one. The very first Star Trek Next Generation. Wait till you see who's in it. I'm sensing a powerful mind. It registers a solid, Captain. Or an incredibly powerful force field. Thou art notified that thy kind have infiltrated the galaxy too far already. That's quite a directive. Would you mind identifying what you are? We call ourselves the Q, the Q, the Q. So here is Q. In the very first episode... And in the very last ones, the serpent eating its tail, the Ouroboros, keeps coming back around again in 1988. This is crazy. Knowing humans as thou dost, Captain, wouldst thou be captured helpless by them? Now go back, or thou shalt most certainly die. The question now is the incredible power of the Q, incredible power of the Q being. So Q has put up this force field, this electric prison that they can't escape from. He wants to test them. Okay, this is the matrix, the veil, the electric prison that everybody seems to be trapped in these days. The question now is the incredible power of the Q, incredible power of the Q being. Do we dare oppose it? Do we dare oppose it? So they're afraid to oppose Q, which makes sense, okay? Picard doesn't want to oppose Q, the Antichrist spirit, and Picard will later become the Antichrist when he is assimilated into the Borg which took place at some point during the Next Generation series. I did not show you that, nor do I have that episode, nor am I going to get it. But that is the storyline. And 400 years before that, you were murdering each other in quarrels over tribal god images. 400 years before that, you were murdering each other over tribal god images. 400 years of bondage for God's people because of idolatry. This is insane. A fairly routine maneuver, but... Here's the kicker. Look it on his teapot and his cup. That is the circumpunct. 
1988. Okay, what you just saw was a series from a couple years ago. Talk about everything I just shared with you. Come around full circle and back to the beginning where it all started. The same cue, the same symbols, unreal.